Welcome, I am Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus Red Skull. Uh, so we have Hulk and Aggression. Our plan is just going to be try to take down Red Skull as quickly as possible because I don't want to try and keep up with all the side schemes he puts into play. So if we look at our uh, setup, we have the contents uh, Red Skull and standard counter sets, two modulars, Hydra Assault and Hydra Patrol. They're all shuffled in there. Um, and it says, uh, put the uh, red house into play, which is here. So that's gonna come in with three threat. And it says, uh, red scale cannot take damage. There's an interrupt when a character thwarts the side scheme, they may use their attack instead of their thwart. Um, and it also says to, uh, where are we? We also shuffle every other side scheme into the side scheme deck, which is here. So we've got a normal encounter deck and a side scheme deck here that I've shuffled up. And we put the sleeper aside out of play because he might come into play from the side schemes here. Uh, we have Red Skull on 12 health. He has a scheme to attack a zero. However, Red Skull gets plus one attack for each side scheme in play. So he kind of has plus one because of Red House. So advance to the 1B on this main scheme. So this threat's out at eight per player. So eight threat will go to the next stage. There's a forced response in here after resolving step one of the villain phase, so after we put threat on the on the main scheme, we reveal the top card of the side scheme deck and put it into play. That comes with zero threat and goes up one per turn. Uh, we've got Hulk here, of course, on our 18 uh, hit points and our starting hand of five, so let's let's go. Okay, we've got Limitless Strength. Mockingbird. Limitless Stamina. Skilled Strike. And a movable object. Okay. Uh, so I don't want to risk the experimental research ability because I won't be able to hurt Red Skull with a with a Hulk smash if I get it because of the Red House in play. So we'll flip up. We'll use our limitless strength to pay for a movable object giving us an additional four hit points to take us to 22. And we get Retaliate, which is useful because Red Skull tends to get a lot of toughs. Um, we will then thwart using our attack for three off the Red House. So that goes into a zone discard pile. We will then use Mockingbird for limitless stamina, so play only if your identity has at least 14 hit points, printed hit points, which we do, and we can ready our hero. So we're ready up. And then we will attack for three plus our skilled strike. So when your hero makes a basic attack, it gets plus two for that attack. So we're going to hit Red Skull for five. Take him down to seven. And we're ready up. Draw four cards. Have another skilled strike. Unstoppable force. Limitless Stamina, and a Hulk Smash. Okay. Uh, so Villain Phase, one threat goes on the main scheme. After resolving Step 1 of the Villain Phase, reveal the top card of the side scheme deck put into play, and we have... <laughs> okay, we have the Sleeper Awakened. Uh, this scheme cannot leave play while the Sleeper is in play. When revealed, we put the Sleeper into play engaged with the first player. When the Sleeper is defeated, remove this card from the game. So there's no threat on that, but the Sleeper comes in. He has Regard, Retaliate 1 and Toughness. So, Tough, Retaliate, and Guard. Uh, he has 5 threat per player, so he's just got, sorry, five, 5 health per player, so he's just got the 5 health here. When revealed, he engages the first player, which is us, and when you defeat it, he gets removed from the game. So we defeat him, both these will go away. <sighs> but, actually, that's not so bad, because if he's going to attack, so I'm going to tell you he's tough off, so. And then, hopefully, this is all going to go well. Um, so anyway, Red Skull's now going to attack us for one, so we'll take it. Uh, so one plus nothing. So he hits us for one. We retaliate for one. And then the Sleeper is going to attack us for three. Takes us down to 18. And we retaliate, knock his tough off. We get our encounter card. And the villain each minion engage if he attacks you. Okay, so... Red Skull's going to attack us again for one, plus two, so two. We retaliate. Uh, sleeper attacks us for three. 
we retaliate on him. Okay. Well, we are just going to spend three physical resources to do our Hulk smash. When you make a basic attack, you get plus 10 for that attack. If you pay for it using only physical resources, which we did, the attack gains overkill. So we knock four onto the sleeper and take him out. So he leaves the game, as does the sleeper awakened. So he soaks up four damage. And then the rest, which is more than enough, will spill over on the Red Skull and knock him into stage two. So he comes in with 16 health per player. Uh, same thing again, he has plus one attack for each side scheme in the play, but he's now got a scheme of three and an attack of one. And when revealed, deal each player an encounter card. So there's our encounter card. And we will ready up and see how this goes. All right, we'll draw four cards. We have Audacity, Hand Cannon, Clobber, and Yarnborn. Okay, so I thought goes in my scheme. We reveal our side scheme, which is Hydro Patrol. Uh, so it comes with Christ Icon and has a when defeated. Uh, when defeated, each player searches the encounter deck and discard off for Hydro Minion and puts it in a play and engage with them and shuffle the encounter deck. But we're probably not going to worry about that. We just want to take down Red Skull as quickly as possible. Uh, so Red Skull is going to attack us for two now. We'll take it. So two plus three, four. Taking us down to nine. We retaliate for one. Taking him down to 15. Get our encounter cards. So Master Strategist, attach to Red Skull. When Red Skull activates, give him an additional boost card for each side scheme play. Then discard this card. And villain schemes. All right, so... Scheming for three, so he gets an additional boost card. So three, four, five, and if you're in hero form, the villain attacks you after activation and do not deal any boost, for, uh, boost cards for that attack. All right, so he schemes for five, which incredibly does not flip the main scheme. It's at seven out of eight. Uh, and then this goes away, and then he attacks us without a boost card, I believe it said. Yep, if you're in hero form, the villain attacks you off this activation, don't deal any boost cards for attack, so he's just going to hit us for two. And we retaliate for one, taking him down to 14. Uh, okay. Okay, we're going to spend two resources. And one of them is Audacity, which is after you spend this card, deal one damage to the villain. So we deal one damage, take him down to 13. To do a Clobber, so deal three damage to your enemy. If this is the first card you've played this round, return this card to your hand. It is the first card we've played, so it'll come back to our hand. We do three damage. Taking Red Skull down to 10. And then going to use the Clobber to put in Yarnborn. So it's restricted. Uh, response after hero attacks an enemy, we can spend a physical resource to deal two damage to an enemy. Uh, we will attack for three. Taking Red Skull down to seven. And that's going to pop anyway. So I reckon we flip down and hope for some decent hand draw for the next round. We're ready up. Okay, so five cards. We have a drop kick, crushing blow, plan B, crushing blow, and limitless strength. Okay. So Red Skull is going to scheme for. Oh, sorry, we first of all, this is going to pop. We're going to put one threat on here. Uh, so. And reveal, reveal the top card of the side scheme deck and put it into play. So we've got Mass Chaos. So when revealed, each player discards the top five cards of the deck and places one threat here for each different type of resource icon they discard. So discard five cards. Skilled Strike. So, well, there goes our Hulk Smash. Uh, they're all physical. 
So only one threat's going to go on here. It's going to choose a Christ Cyclone, but we've already got a Christ Cyclone in play. And then we advance this next scheme, which comes in with one threat. And it's again the same thing after resolving uh, step one. We put the side scheme into play, which we just resolved this on. So another side scheme comes into play. So prison camps. Just going to bring acceleration icon into play. Uh, it says when defeated, the player who defeats the scheme searches their deck and discard off an ally, puts it into play, and shuffles their deck. That's coming in with three threat. Okay, now Red Skull schemes for three plus three, so that's six. Pushing that to seven out of 11, then get our encounter card. Shadow Pass, reveal your set aside Nemesis minion and put him in the play engage view. Reveal your set aside Nemesis side scheme and shuffle the cards next. So here comes Abomination. We'll just put Total Destruction there. Comes up to Threat. This is a hazard icon, and these get shuffled into the deck. Okay. Beautiful shuffling there as always. Okay, now it's our turn. Uh, we just need to win, which I think we can do. Cool. So we'll flip up into Hulk. We'll use Drop Kick for a crushing blow. So use you can only spend physical resource to pay for this card. Deal damage to an enemy equal to your attack. We'll deal it to Red Skull. Take him down to four. Uh, we'll then. After your attacks an enemy, spend a physical resource, deal two damage to an enemy. We'll do that with our limitless strength. Deal two damage. Uh, we'll then use plan B to play for another crushing blow, which will deal three damage to Red Skull, which will defeat him. We could even swing for another three with uh, Hulk for the attack. Uh, so there you have it. Once again, Hulk, strongest one there is. Better side schemes out in the play, but our intention was not to deal with those. It was just to go straight after Red Skull and knock him down, uh, which I think we did quite successfully. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this game, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching.